Hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Raw for XC Shut Up Uncut Let's Play series. In today's episode, we continue where we last left off. We are put on the warpath pretty much uh, as we have found new enemies in EV Lacerte and we will be preparing to take the fight to them. Uh, we are also um, uh, expanding our influence of, around the eastern part of the galaxy. We are continuing our expansions into the western side of the galaxy. And our logistics and economical situation is going pretty damn well. Um, at this point, we're really just looking for um, targets to attack, building up scout ships, building up our ground forces, and uh, preparing to... to uh, go into the late game, uh, essentially, uh, once we get our technology uh, increased to a certain point. So what's going to be the goals for today's episode? Well, number one, I think really what I want to be doing is I want to secure EV Lacerte, I need to secure BSA, and I want to secure this these, this region. I also want to secure Ecupagasi and Zeta Sextanus. Uh, and Theta Fornasius. So I want to secure basically five systems this this uh, this uh, episode, um, and colonize them as well as establish outposts there and uh, prepare them for colonization. We currently have the Northumberland beginning stabilization uh, in EV Lacerti, so we should have that stabilized soon, so we can begin to send scout ships, and then we can begin to send um, further forces over there, um, which is what I will be doing. Uh, that is why we designed the recon frigate, which is currently, we're currently waiting, we can't build it just yet, but we are waiting for the shipyard to be retooled correctly, um, which will take some time, of course. Okay, um, economy, uh, everything, yeah, everything's pretty good. Uh, we're even getting all of our sorium situation sorted out here as we start mining up the sorium uh, located here, as well as all, all the other resources, which is very, very nice. Um, and we also developed our elite marine boarding platoons, which I want to try out and use um, to our best effect, if possible. So, uh, let's start out and let's start thinking about how we're going to achieve what I want to achieve. Well, we want to secure um, Theta Fornasius. We have A2 right now and that's currently being terraformed. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, it's, been, it's been terraformed there uh, fully. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure we're off military restrictor. There we go. So then we should begin to establish a colony in Theta Fornasius. And then we need to look at Iki Pagasi because Iki Pagasi has a substantial uh, population, but uh, it doesn't really have anything on it. It has maintenance supplies and fuel, but it's going to be needing uh, maintenance facilities as well as a refueling station um, if we're going to use it for defensive purposes and also to refuel nearby fleets. So let's go over to our cargo group. Uh, we have this car group just standing over here. We're going to load ourselves up a refueling station. Uh, do we not have one available? Apparently we do not. So uh, this is something we'll need to get on building immediately. We're currently mass producing automated mines to uh, fit more demand because we have an absurd, and I, I, I mean an absurd amount of... Um, or uh, of corundium. So realistically speaking, we don't really need to worry about about too too much in regards to that. Uh, so then we need to put in uh, refueling stations. So I'm going to order seven or eight refueling stations to be constructed. Uh, research is also going good. Um, our terraforming rate is going to increase soon, which is going to be nice. Our wealth situation is looking pretty incredible for us. We're spending a lot more research as that increases, though. Um, civilian mining is really helping us out, interestingly enough. Um, and we're continuing to ship resources over correctly. So that's EQ Pegasi. We'll get that one sorted out. Uh, next is going to be, uh, I think it's Lalanid. Now, Lalanid's got, uh, got forces there. Zeta Sextanus is going to be the one we want to uh, continue to colonize or, or go towards. Uh, we have already set up uh, where we want the colony here. Um, this has yeah, nitrogen methane atmosphere, so it's going to be a lot harder to colonize, but we will transport over uh, infrastructure to go and deal with the problem. Um, yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing here. Um, so cargo group. Uh, yeah, cargo group. Uh, Charlie, we'll have you go deal with it. Load installation, we want you to load up infrastructure. We're going to auto route you over to Sata Sextanus. 
and we're going to go have you unload all installations um, on the six dollars and return to soil and refuel. Um, we'll do this. We'll do this twice, and I'll take us two years. Okay, good. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, because of how Theta Fornasius A two has been colonized, um, we are going to yeah we're going to be able to get a lot of people just in here immediately, which is going to be really really nice. Um, it has a mainly Verenderite and Corundium, so we may only get some mines here, then just turn this to a ground force construction uh, place. Uh, another thing as well, uh, guys, feel free to send in uh, like names for planets because we have F. Originus, E. Cupagassi, um, Solaris, Groombridge, and then also Shreve 2398 uh, areas that can have names. So if you guys want to have names, but anyone can do it, just put it in the comments or over on the Discord in the description below, and I will make sure to rename them for the next episode. So it looks like the Paula Diaz um, needs new orders. Oh yeah, did Greenbridge get defenses? Yes, it did get defenses, my bad. Uh, Bayer Antillier. Um, yeah, we'll go 61 Signy, and then we'll go to Gamma Carine and go there. Um, we will be marshalling, I think, the third carrier strike group to go and deal with the enemy. Um, it's the most recent. Actually, no, it's not close enough. Um, we'll have first carrier strike group go and deal with it then, but we're going to need to go and need to get extra forces for it. Um, we have a lot of unused squadrons and another another problems there. Uh, so I'm just going to delete these squadrons. Um, we also have growlers just kind of standing around here. I'm going to just reorganize all of these correctly. Uh, so I'm just going to throw you in here. Okay, um, strike first, strike squadron, okay, we need one more, I think. We also have the interceptors, which we need to replace at this point. So do we have the interior B-class vessels? Yeah, we do. So, um, I'm just going to detach those, uh, and then I'm going to grab the interceptors here. Uh, interceptors, Ontario's, um, and I'm just going to detach all of these, and we're going to throw those into reserves. Then I'm going to have the new fighters. I'm gonna I'm gonna have them land on the first car strike. You land on the impassive, please. There we go. And I'm gonna detach them again, and then we organize them accordingly. Um, actually, no, we can just throw them into the intercept squadron there, which works out for us. We want to have upstate interceptors for what we're gonna be dealing with. Um, we've only split two Iraq class vessels, so we'll have to see. Um, otherwise, what else will be able, we'll have to deal with? Uh, yeah, okay. Interceptor, interceptor. Uh, what else do we need? We have destroyer escort. We have five Aegis B class vessels. So we're going to need to reorganize our destroyer escort squadron. So we have first destroyer escort, second destroyer escort. Um, I want to put. I'm going to detach you and throw you into there. Then I need to grab myself some new destroyers. That's what I need. Two Helios B-class vessels will work for me. Um, and we're also going to get some more ammunition uh, for these vessels. So uh, first carrier strike group uh, over here. So I want to add in the uh, yeah, this guy. I want to add you into there. Um, and I'll then add in two Helios B-class vessels. We're going to add those to each uh, destroy escort squadron accordingly. There we go. Uh, we also need to add in another Aardvark because apparently we're missing one. Um, so I will go to new fighters. I'll grab you and I will have you... Join and land onto the impassive because I think we lost one during the one of the engagements, which is unfortunate, but uh, it happened. Um, I need to check which squadron that we are missing you from. We are missing you from the first, uh, so we're gonna add you into there. There we go. So we should have now. Uh, what would that be? We should have thirty six total fighters. At least we should. Where the hell is the other strike squadron? Those are one, one, two, three, four. 
Were we on one, three, three, four? Huh. That's strange. Um, oh, these are block twos. I don't want block twos. No, 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 no. Block twos are bad. I want block threes, but we don't have any block threes available. We'll have to construct some then. Uh, fighters, I want 12 block threes constructed immediately. Ammunition, we're also going to need to order some more ammunition. Uh, where we need more firebirds to be constructed. Let's do 300 more of those. Um, we also are going to be needing consistent production of striker ASM. So I'm going to put an order in for 5,000 striker ASMs to be constructed. Um, but yeah, we pretty much have the fleet ready to go. We're just missing the supply vessels. Um, Yeah, we're just missing the supply vessels and also the LCA Norfolk class vessels. Uh, which we can actually add in here, right? So we can go Norfolk. And then you can go supply B class. There we go. And then we have pretty much everything that we need. We're just missing one fighter here. And then we have a full task group that is ready to go. Um, yeah. Uh, let's just start incrementing from now. Um... Indianapolis is one of our tugs, I think. It should get refueled hopefully here soon, so not that big of a problem if it does run out of fuel there. Uh, Paula Diaz is in Gamma Carane, but can't actually see anything. Uh, is it, uh, yeah, Paula Diaz is in Gamma Carane. Um, tea Garden Star. Let's go to the unexplored jump point there, then. We want to continue our exploration duties. As much as we can, realistically speaking. Um, okay, this gives us not XC uh, Buddhist or Z Buddhist, not 55 Buddhist, but XC. Uh, nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, world, not enough oxygen, looks like for the habitable civilization of any kind. Uh, but maybe there's other aliens here, I doubt it though. Uh, okay, let's continue incrementing. Uh, Martin Frobisher, let's uh, have you reassigned your orders correctly. Um, yeah, we'll go to Kappa Muske, and then we'll go to E.T. Caspionnes, and then we'll uh, do a standard transit through there. Okay. Uh, we're also on our campaign, we're going to take a lot of ground forces with us as well. We have those two marine divisions over on... The Racker World, we'll have to move those over. Uh, Natal's Logistics. Yeah, you guys are just located here. Let's have you first off, you're going to need to... Oh, probably doesn't have enough fuel, but we'll refuel from what we can. Head over to Theta Fornasius. Load both Marine Divisions up, because we're going to need them. Third, and then we're going to bring them over to, uh, we bring them over to Greenbridge, and how you stop there. Now let's continue incrementing along. Okay, we've got a system of ninety-nine Leonas. Nice and oxygen atmosphere world. No, nothing that I can particularly see that's too important. Uh, yeah, let me have a look here. Sorry about that. Um, I used to do something. Uh, but okay, National Chamber for World. Nothing too, too important that I can see here. Um, not, nothing of any great value. You know, there's Super Jovian, which could potentially be of interest, but. No aliens that I can see anyway. Um, we have increased the chance to a 60% chance as well, so hopefully we can do find something. Terraforming rates are really, really getting up there. We may want to also move our terraformers over to a new colony of some kind. Um, but for now, it's okay. Uh, but we are now getting colonists over to Theta Fornasius, so that is great news. Um, it's also a dead-end system, though. Uh, let me check. It is not a dead-end system, so we may want to actually go and uh, check through that. EV Lacerte, we stabilized that drum point, so now we can begin to send our military fleet in. 
Um, we are just waiting on, we need to assign one more Aardvark block three. So I'm going to have you land on the first carrier strike group, land on the impassive. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to uh, assign you to the first strike squadron. That gives us 36. Make sure we reload, resupply, and load ordnance first. Um, and then once we're done with that, we are going to head to EV Lacerte. Um, after going to Greenbridge, go to Greenbridge, refuel, then go to uh, Kappa Musque and EV Lacerte. And that should take you 35 days total. Um, and we're going to begin our next round of combat. We don't know how many there are, we just know there are two enemy vessels of some description. Um, so we're going to have to be cautious. Tokamak Fusion Reactor did just complete research, which is fantastic news. Um, we are going to grab Internal Fusion Confinement Reactor then. That'll take us to four, that'll take us eight years, uh, but nearly a decade of research to grab. So quite a while. Um, okay. Our uh, Infrastructure, abandoned infrastructure. Another thing as well, as we extend that influence, we're going to build more vessels for garrisoning duty. So I'm going to actually order up a bunch of Bradley B class vessels to be constructed immediately. Um, yeah, we'll do four of those. Uh, okay, hopefully our fleet should be getting here somewhat shortly. Uh, deep space tracking station found. Okay, that's fine. Okay, carrier strike group has arrived. Um, oh yeah, you're damaged, aren't you? Repair. Why aren't you? Sometimes, sometimes you know. Sometimes I have a little bit of a seizure. Um. Okay. We arm. Um, reload from the supply vessel. We're just gonna sit here until you're done. Okay. There we go. Now we go back into the carrier strike group. Okay. We have MSP for everyone. We have ammunition, practically speaking, for everyone, except for the Helios B, which is not full ammo yet. Okay, um, is that all, acti all active sensors should be on? Um, we are going, we last known contact, if we pull up the lost contacts, uh, well, it was over, I think, on the outer world here. So we are going to move towards, what's the distance from this? Uh, we're going to move to... Uh, yeah, we're going to move to there. Um, actually, we may need to get closer due to range, uh, 250. Okay, we're going to move there, and I'm going to delete this waypoint. Okay, we're going to move to waypoint 2. Um, so access, yeah, access sensors on, and then we're going to move to waypoint number 2, um, immediately. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm doing way too small increments. It's going to take hours to get there, realistically speaking. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I don't want to get too too close so that we do have some range advantage over them using our carriers. Now, it's one thing that I'm going to try and improve with the next generation of fighters is going to be better extend longer range. I also want to develop some kind of fuel fighter um, or fuel fast attack craft anyway. Okay, we've arrived there. Um, we are going to send. We're going to launch a growler. Um, so growler number one will have the prestigious honor. And is going to head directly towards uh, what is the planet's name called? V uh, number seven. So we're going to head towards there um, and see what we can find for ourselves. That'll take us not that long at all, realistically speaking. Active sensor is on, um, and we are going to be closing that distance very, very quickly. Okay. No contacts yet located that we can see anyway. Uh, we're closing in with more distance. No contacts detected so far. They must have moved. Okay. Looks like our enemy has moved from this position. Um, so, we're going to bring back the... Uh, the... Uh, what you call it? The, the growler. And I'm going to make a decision here um, on moving forward. So, we're going to use something called formation orders going here because I want to be able to properly know if anything is coming in my direction at all. Um, also, I keep making uh, subfleet groups, which is not good. So, we're going to launch all of our growlers. 
One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, we're 480 million kilometers away. What's the range on our Growler class vessels? Uh, space early warning block to 0.54. So they should have enough um, if to be able to do what I want to do anyway. Um, so I'm going to give you formation orders. So set anchor fleet is going to be the first carry strike group. So this basically says that they will anchor towards that fleet. We have a zero degree offset and we're going to give it a specific distance to the anchor. 1,000, 10,100, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do 150 million kilometers uh, distance um, at any one time. Uh, and yeah, that works for me. So we're going to toggle the destination. Um, and then we're going to do the exact same thing over here. So set anchor fleet. Set our distance to anchor, there we go. Set bearing offset, so 90 degrees, and then toggle anchor destination. Uh, set anchor fleet for you. Uh, set distance as 150 million kilometers. Set bearing offset at 180. Um, and then you're good, uh, toggle destination. And then I'm gonna set anchor fleet, no, not, oh yeah, set anchor fleet. <sighs> Set distance to anchor, uh, and then set bearing offset at 360 degrees, um, which should work fine. Uh, maybe I, I I got my bearings mixed up, but uh, yeah, it should be it should be okay here. Uh, then I'm gonna have the carrier strike group begin to move uh, towards the inner planet. So there we go. They're all gonna move out like that. Um, no, it looks like Growler 004, because 360 seems to just not do anything. So, 004, formation orders. Um, I'm going to give you a bearing up set of 45 instead. Let's see if that helps regarding it. Did I not set your distance correctly? Formation was 150 million kilometers. Toggle anchor fleet. So maybe that, no, that wasn't the problem. So 360. We'll do that. Okay, that was a problem though. <laughs> uh, set bearing up, set 45. No, 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 no. Okay, which one is you? Your 002. 002 should be set to 90 degrees, right? So this is 180. So what, this would be like 240, you know? 240 degrees. Yeah, there we go. That works out just fine. Well, mainly fine. But yeah, that as you can see here, these guys will now move with the fleet and they will stay in positions which will um, provide ourselves significant um, improvement anyway. Um, so they're going to move outwards. You are a little bit off here. Let's try... Formation orders, I want you to go... Um, how about we go for bearing offset at like 280? Yeah, that works better. It's not perfect, but it does work pretty well here. Okay. Wow, that's quite some distance. Uh, you're keeping yourself from anyway. Um, formation transport orders. Uh, 320, 240. Uh, maybe 240 would be the best for you then. Uh, we'll do that bearing offset there then. And see what we can get anyway. It's almost like it needs like 265. I'm not sure why it does it like this. Set bearing it offset 260. Okay, that works. So, as you can see here, um, okay, we have ship contact. Holy shit, ship contact. Um, 
Farage, 35,000, acute, three acute, 60,000 tons, excuse me. Hold your position. We have an adroit in, in position there. Also, it looks like we run out of fuel. I think I screwed up uh, my increments uh, by mistake. Okay, uh, hold the fleet, hold the fleet. Um, we have multiple vessels that are now behind us. Um, our growlers are going to be out of fuel, which is a problem. Uh, we have an adroit class vessel nearby. Uh, pull up the information on the adroit. That's not a normal size adroit, though. 26,000 tons. Okay, we're going to hit that thing with everything we've got. Um, we'll, pull, we'll bring these back once we have time to assess the current situation. Um, these vessels are much bigger than the previous enemy vessels. Those are 60,000... That's, that's three 60,000 ton vessels, no? Yeah, it is. Um, not only that, but they're moving much slower than expected. So is this Troy class vessel. I'm not sure what to think of it. Um, I'm going to launch First Strike Squadron. Uh, you're going to head towards the Adroit, and you're going to prepare to fire. I'm not launching multiple, because I don't know. I want to assess the capabilities of the enemy vessel here. Um, uh, we have Albany's incoming. Okay. Uh, also, I need to give proper orders here. Um, Growler block 2, transport items, um, clear anchor fleet, clear anchor fleet, clear anchor fleet, and clear anchor fleet. Okay, uh, we're going to move towards target and we're going to blow it up, see what we can do. Um, I'd like not to blow it up, but I mean, what can you do at the end of the day? Um, no, I forgot to bring the boarding crafts. Oh my god, yeah, I did forget to bring the boarding craft. That's a really dumb move by me. Um, fine. Well, we may have to retreat and then come back in this in this circumstance here. Okay, we're we within range. Prepare to fire. Uh, first strike squadron. Uh, target a droid class. Sign to fleet. Open fire. Make sure one synchronize fire as well. Sync fire on. Okay, missiles are away. And I'm going to have them cease fire and then head straight back to the uh, carrier. We can fight them, it's just that I would like to have boarding crafts here so we can begin to capture some of these vessels. We seem to have catched them off guard in some regard. Okay, ASMs are on the way towards the Adroit class vessel. Um, I'm not sure why it's using the same name as the other ones, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot bigger, um, but moving a lot slower. Missiles coming in for impact. Good impacts, target destroyed. Interesting. It looks like it maybe has some sea wisps, but that is an enemy target down. Um, okay, first carrier strike group. Your next priority is going to be to move towards the Growler 001. Move to your location um, and grab it really, really quickly. Uh, we don't have the luxury right now of any ground forces, so I'm going, I don't really want to think about engaging immediately. Um, and if we do, we may want to just disable the enemy vessels before we go. Those seem to be the original Albanese that we know, and if that is the case, they will be able to fire a lot of missiles towards us. So we need to be cognizant of that. Um, yeah, we're going to move up, we're going to grab the Growler, we're going to grab the other Growlers, and then we're going to continue our advance. I want to just assess the situation before we try any boarding or any other operations. Uh, we know there are possible and there are enemies behind us in some regard. So we need to be cognizant of that. Okay, we have arrived. Um, Grella 001, load straight onto the mothership. Okay. Um, you need to go and we're going to move to location uh, 002 next. And we're going to grab all of our growlers so they don't get picked off or whatever. But interesting, at least we've scored first blood against the enemy. I'm interested to know what kind of vessels these are though. Can we get boarding craft moved over immediately? Do we have a boarding craft even available? Um, shipyard fleet. Not that I can tell. Third strike group is available. Third strike group also has moving boarding platoons available as well as Quebec classes available. Hmm. The second strike group is also there. I need Quebec class vessels though. 
I don't know where my Quebec class vessels have gone. Um, we don't seem to have many of them, so I'm actually going to put an order in here for four more uh, Quebecs. Uh, shipyard fleet, build those immediately. That'll take us until July of next year, which is quite a bit of time away. I shouldn't have incremented so quickly. That was my bad there. Um, I just went by so, so quickly. Um, okay, so we're going to arrive, uh, pick up uh yeah pick up the growler uh growler zero zero two uh yeah growler zero zero two uh land on the sign mothership there we go okay and then we're gonna grab uh first cow strike group i'm gonna head towards growler zero zero three And then we'll continue to pick up all of these. But yeah, formation orders are actually really useful, and I'm going to be using them more often to extend our, our, our range. But the problem is our, vest, our fighters are actually pretty low uh, fuel costs. So I want to make some more efficient fighters just for, for situations like this. Um, they can kind of just only keep up with the fleet uh, sort of sort of thing. Um, because they went out of fuel a lot quicker otherwise. So we've arrived. Um, okay. And then I'm going to... Uh, Okay, yeah, we're going to load up the 003 onto the main carrier, and then we'll do the exact same for 004 once we reach that area. Okay, 004, head towards. It's a weird amount of vessels. They only have like two to three, they're just scattered around as well. I'm not really sure what to think, to be honest. Um, it is very peculiar to me. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not too too sure what to think at all. Uh, okay, we've arrived. Um, I'm going to load up the growler. There we go. Assign that to the mothership. But yeah, seriously, where have all of our Quebec class vessels gone? We have Quebec 003 orbiting Earth. But I don't have any other Quebecs just lying around. I would have thought I'd have at least some, because I remember ordering a few. Uh, no matter. Okay, once uh, that's been loaded on, uh, we're going to head towards the enemy contacts again. Um, so head towards the inner planets. Um, and I'm also going to bring up lost contacts. So lost a month. So Albanese were apparently there. Um, so we will continue our advance. Okay, we're closing in. Okay, um, uh, I'm not sure which planet they decide to occupy. We can have a look on our uh, data. Yeah, this planet looks like a likely candidate. It's relatively good fuel, very good cost. So you just have to remove the carbon dioxide and add in more oxygen, and then it's practically habitable immediately. So that's definitely a terraforming target if I've ever seen one. Okay, let's see if we detect the enemy. Uh, GPS. Okay, we detected them. They seem to be orbiting A2 as predicted. Okay, how many enemy vessels are we looking at? We have an Albany, three Albany class vessels, 8,000, 8,000 tons. Archer class, 8,500 tons. There was an Albany that's 8,500 tons. Interesting. The naming conventions have really gone out of the blue window. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, you know, we have different different Albanese because they're getting renamed. Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, but you also have some acutes and the rats who, have, who who are missing. Okay, I'm gonna. I I've I, I think we understand what we're facing. I'm going to head the fleet back, um, I'm going to go back to Sol, I'm going to reload the arm, and I'm going to wait for boarding crafts. Update ship contact Archer, okay. Well, we're going to leave. Um, not because I'm afraid, I think we could easily wipe them out, but it's more that I would like to capture some of their vessels. Um, uh, and also test out Marines and another the units, so... We'll head back for now, um, and then I will 
bring us back. Um, it's weird. Some of their forces seem to be protecting the gas giant as well, which I'm not... I haven't seen that happen before. Um... Uh, so yeah, we're just going to wait. Uh, we don't have any Quebecs currently available, which is kind of an issue. Um, but it'll be fine for now, I think, anyway. Also, our civilian stuff is really getting out of hands. So I'm actually going to turn off uh, civilian contacts. Also, why are we so far away from Seoul? Hello? <laughs> we were like billions of kilometers out. There we go. Okay, uh, continue incrementing along here. We're waiting for... Uh, yeah, first carriage strike group is now here. Um, and we're on the planet now. Uh, we bet just barely didn't run out of fuel, which is good news. Um, so we're going to wait here until we get enough Quebecs, which will be done in 20 to 36, which is quite a bit away. But it's good, we have tested it out, uh, what kind of forces we're looking up against. They haven't fired a single shot towards us for now. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Um, but so far, I'm pretty happy with with the situation. Uh, Aegis going on, forget our Centauri defense fleet. Um, are we not getting proper maintenance supplies over to Acta? No, we are not. We should be. Uh, let me check my Devonshire's really quick here. <sighs> There's so many breakdowns and issues from all of these little, little vessels and little things causing it, uh, causing us problems there. So you're on the way. Okay, you're going. You're supposed to get to Alpha Centauri. You're transferring maintenance supplies to Vice. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, no, we don't want them transferred over to Rice. Transfer them over to Actar. By the Fifi Bureau, this we feel we supply cycle those moves. Okay, we have to send emergency supply then or maintenance supplies to fill the gap while it waits for that shipment. Uh, we supply from Colony, head over to Alton Toy, and then transfer them immediately to there. Okay. That is an, uh, annoying, but, I mean, what can you really, really do at this point? Uh, what kind of world, by the way, is the, uh, is, is the world that we're, that we're kind of fighting over? Um, where is it? Verte. Evil Certe. Tundra. Okay, that'll make an invasion relatively easy then. No mountains to worry about at all. Um, Alphonson Toy and Ion Drive failed. That's, uh, not good news. Scoped minerals, the area cells cannot carry out primary orders. Um, okay. Uh, we'll have you head over then to Kappa Musque. Uh, ET Compassine, 99 Leonis, and uh, try and help through that. Main the supplies found on Green Bridge A2. Continuum capacity upgrade completed from the shipyards. I believe that's for the 6000 ton one. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I'm going to retool this for the uh, Suffolk class vessel. Yeah, there we go, and I'm going to have that constructed immediately, um, and that is going to be for our scouting, our recon, that's our recon, forget. Uh, we keep getting damage in our iron drives, we're actually, we're losing the iron drives there, we don't get the maintenance supplies moved over immediately, which is I'm trying to do right now, um, but that's going to take some time. We have to wait until July for the Quebecs to be done, and then we're going to have to pick up all the... All the marine, the new marine platoons as best we can, and then transport them over for invasion duty. Okay, finally, maintenance supplies have arrived at Actar. Um, we found six thousand six hundred tons of neutronium, which is good news. Um, and then we have a bunch of labs available. Um, we're not getting energy weapons right now. We need to get those carronades underway for our better uh, ground combat weapons. Um, yeah, let's just keep incrementing along here. More labs are now available that we need to add in to one of these guys. And yeah, let's just keep let's keep on going. Theta Fornasius needs some kind of presence. That is fine by me. Um yeah, you guys have quite a few ground forces locked up here. Um I'm going to unload all ground forces onto you. Head over to 55 Brutus. Refuel. Um 
yeah, refuel, and then I'm gonna have you load up, um, probably an infantry, a full infantry division, um, would be appropriate. So I'm gonna load the ninth, send them over to Theta Fornasius, and then unload all ground forces there. Then we're gonna head back to Sol and refuel, and then we're gonna wait for further invasion orders. Okay, financial center was found, mines were found. That's good news. When May, so we're only three months, three, four months off. Um, so not that far off now at this point. Bunch of marine divisions were trained up on Earth. Um, so if we need more, we can begin to transport them over to the battlefield, but uh, I don't think we will. Um, I think we'll be completely fine with the amount of forces that we have due to the size of the enemy force. I don't think they're going to be any tougher than the ones in Groombridge. Um, different kinds of vessels, though, which is definitely interesting to me. Okay, four Quebec class vessels just finished construction, which is fantastic news. Okay, I'm going to have you go land and uh, assign onto the uh, Norfolk here. There we go. And that will then allow us to begin to load um, load up the, the uh, moons that we need. So, uh, load up, we need, where are they? Boarding platoon. There we go. There's the boarding platoons. Um, well, there again, yeah, the boarding platoon, 13th, 14th, 11th, 10th, 10th, uh, 15th, and 16th, 17th, and 18th. Okay, so 17. Once you got those loaded up, we're going to take you over back over to EV Lacerte and have you go and help there immediately. Uh, well, not help there, but go and conquer immediately uh, when you can. Um, it shouldn't take you guys too, too long. We have arrived at EV Lacerte, which is fantastic news. Um, we're going to move towards the inner planets and we will capture enemy vessels if we can. Um, but that's going to be a secondary priority over survival, of course. So let's move on the way. So far, no alien vessels. We're closing in. This is going to take us four days, apparently, to reach the inner planets. Okay, we're closing in. Okay, yeah, we are closing in, closing in. Okay, enemy vessels are within uh, sight. Looks like the Avat and the Acutes headed back here. I know the Archer class vessel uh, has point defense. Um, those Acutes peculiarize me though. Um, yeah, we'll give them a full salvo from a single carrier strike group and see how effective that point defense is. I'm going to presume they'll have service to orbit weapons, so. Um, I'm not sure how effective this will really be. That's still quite a few vessels, realistically speaking. Okay. Uh, third strike squadron, third. Uh, join a subfleet for that one, and then join a subfleet, and then we're going to prepare to fire. Okay. All, all uh, squadrons are ready, so that's 72 fighters available and uh, ready to fight. Um. On 36, my bad, 36. So that gives 144 missiles towards the enemy if we need them. Um, so we're going to move towards contact. Okay, we should be within range now at this point. Uh, what should we target fire first? Uh, the archer class will definitely be important, and so will the Arat. We're going to target the Iraq class vessels. How big are they? They're 16,000 tons as previously thought. So those are going to be our primary targets. Um, 006. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll assign all these guys to Iraq 005, Science Fleet. And then I'm going to do the rest of these correctly. So assign to Subfleet. And then we're going to do assign to Subfleet for the 007. I'm not sure if this will actually be able to break through their point defense systems, but uh, there we go. These fighters are pretty well trained now, so we're able to pretty much just fire without 
uh, worrying about synchronization. Uh, so move to location. Uh, let's get our fighters back. Missiles are away. I want to see how potent their point defense capability is. Not potent enough, it seems. 79 nuclear detonations. Um, 28 energy weapon impact hits. Uh, the enemy was only able to kill, what was that, 20 missiles in there. So yeah, we should be able to uh, deal with the Arats and the Albanese and, and, and all these other vessels here pretty damn well. Um, so let's bring the let's bring the squadrons back here. How many missiles were they able to to kill? Um, Twenty eight. So yeah, I don't want to fire our Helios missiles yet. We will thin the herd and then we will fire the Helios. We also want to kill the Archer. Uh, the Arat and the Archer is going to be the most important thing to target fire, realistically speaking. Um, detach and detach. But we've really come a long way. You know, one carrier strike group now can practically handle anything it needs to handle compared to a four where we need two just to get through the enemy missiles so now we're going to wait uh quite a few minutes here um it's like one of the rats was damaged um at least from what i can tell anyway uh first right squadron uh, let me just make sure we're on ceasefire launch first launch second launch third uh, and then we're going to join the subfleet for the third and second. And then main fleet, you'll head towards the enemy contacts. And we will kill uh, as many of the Iraq class vessels as we can get our hands on, realistically speaking. Um, that may take a little bit though. Okay, with the within range, prepare to fire. Open for our fleet. Missiles are away. And head back to the carrier strike group. They should be able to destroy... I want three confirmed kills here. I'm not sure what the acute 60,000 ton acute class vessels are, but they are pretty damn scary. I haven't seen uh, alien vessels that big before. Most we've seen 28,000 tons, so there's definitely something up with that. Okay, how did that go? We got quite a few penetrating hits. Their point defense was definitely better than before. But we are still able to penetrate through. Um, and we're starting to skewer quite a few hits on the enemy. Um, we're going to keep hitting those rats until they're dead. Um, and then we're going to go for the archer and then some of the other vessels. Do we have any further information on the enemy ship classes of what they are capable of? Uh, not the acute. Uh, we know of the Kirsch class, of course. That's capable of a, quite a bit. What I'm worrying is some of these others here. These are the same rat class vessels, but there is another archer here, which is concerning. Unknown sensor type. Okay. Uh, bring the fleet back. Oh, the fight is back. And let us re um and reload them accordingly. And then we're just gonna keep hitting the rats until they're dead. Once the rats there, we're gonna move in with the Helios class vessels and uh, see what we can accomplish with those. And assign mothership, land on assign mothership, and then land on assign mothership. And then we will wait 20 like a few hours. Yeah, it looks like they're getting quite damaged there, which is uh good to know. But we will punish them uh, punish them for their insolence, punish them for thinking that they can deal with the Federalist Republic. Uh, second Strike Squadron, Third Strike Squadron, launch all again, join the subfleet, and then we're going to join the subfleet again, and then we're going to head towards the contacts once more. There we go. Okay, we're on the way. And we should be closing in distance relatively soon. First strike squadron, all missiles are within range. Fire for effect. Uh, looks like we're waiting. Um... Oh crap, I fired them incorrectly. I didn't have... <sighs> the other squadrons didn't launch. I forgot. Uh, oh, god damn. Well, those missiles are wasted. 
Wow, they actually got through, though. That's impressive. Um, and we were able to actually destroy vessels, so they're not wasted. That was good. Um, so that's an Iraq class vessel down and, and dead. Uh, let's bring back our, our other squadrons. Well, uh, our strike squadron, anyway. Um, and then we're going to just wait out a few... Uh, a few, a little bit until we have everything ready, and then we're gonna launch, 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 fleets, join a subfleet, join as subfleet, and then head towards contacts. Uh, are they firing towards us now? Okay. No, they're not. We're just not. <laughs> They're not firing towards us. I'm not sure if they even can fire towards us. I'm not sure if they have missiles or not. Um, okay, we're getting within range now. Okay, and prepare to fire. Um, yeah, uh, we have to reassign targets. If I, Yeah, we are going to have to reassign targets. You're going to go for the Archer class vessel, assign that to fleet, and then we're going to go for uh, the other rats, of course, for these other subfleets. Uh, once all the point defense is dead, we can then pick off the rest of the other vessels with practically impunity at that point. Um, open fire fleet. Are you serious? We're waiting on a single vessel? Okay, missiles are now away. Good news. Missiles are nice and away, which means that we should be able to secure quite a few confirmed kills here, which is my hope. Um, boom, 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 here they come. A lot of nuclear detonations, a lot of hits. Uh, the rats got penetrated, the archer immediately has penetrations, um, secondary power explosion on one of the vessels as well, which is uh, fantastic news. Not sure who else is opening fire with point defense capabilities. Probably the acute class vessels. But I'm going to wait to hold out on those. I'm going to use um, the Helioses to destroy the acutes because we're going to need something that's got a little bit heavier of a punch to it uh, than our normal strike squadrons. Otherwise, we'll be using all of our missiles to handle them out here. Uh, make sure you land on the signers correctly. So we can just keep hanging them with impunity here. Now the problem is we can't really go and board them um, at all. Uh, so we just kind of have to kind of keep doing this until we got them down to a point. And also if we did approach even with our boarding craft, um, the surface orbit weapons on the planet would likely destroy our vessels. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, so I'm going to head back. Yeah, so we, we've done that. I want to destroy the Archer. I'm not sure what the Albany or the Ardent are. Um, yeah, we're gonna we'll focus on the archer and then and the Albanese, and once those are down, we'll focus on the other ones. The Arat should not be much of a problem anymore. Um, I'm going to leave them to to stay there because I want to capture them at a later point. Um, join the subfleet. Join the subfleet. Uh, yeah, join the subfleet, and then we head towards contacts. Um, we could also kill the surface door weapons, so that requires us obviously to get. A lot closer to the enemy than I would personally like to. Um, cease fire the fleet really quick. Um, so we're going to clear out some of these other vessels before we do such a thing, realistically speaking. Um, okay, we're within range. Prepare to fire. Uh, so I'm going to have a second strike squadron. You guys are going to focus on uh, the, uh, where are the, yeah, the Albany classes. Assign subfleet, and then we're going to assign subfleet the second one. Uh, there we go, and then we're going to open fire fleet. Okay, missiles are away. Um, I can't wait for the next tag because then we can improve these missiles even further, and then we will need even less missiles to be able to actually be effective here. Okay, missiles on the way. And we should get some nice impacts. Good. And we destroyed an Albany and also an Archer class there. Which is fantastic news. Um, yeah, the the PD, the the anti missile missile PD is really really taken. Uh, is not doing too good. But we have destroyed secondary power explosions, which are nice. Um, so that should now mean yeah, the that other Albany needs to be hit still. Um, 
and yeah, that Albany needs to be hit. But overall, we are decimating our opponent's uh, forces here. I will leave the Arats alive. I want to leave at least one of the Acutes alive to uh, to take one of them anyway. Um, so we'll kill off the next two Albany classes, and then we will focus fire on the Acutes. We'll burn them down to enough, and then we will move in, kill the service orbit weapons, and uh, yeah, handle the rest accordingly. Um, once we kill the Albany, and then, yeah, we'll kill the two Albanys, we'll kill the Ardent, and then we are going to fire our Helios missiles. So, uh, detach. We've barely even gone through that many missiles. I think we've gone through three salvos, four salvos. So, that's not that many actual missiles. Um, when we really think about, like, a carrier group here, like, we have 672 missiles remaining right now. Um, which is plenty. Um, and considering what we've we, we've almost got them to a point where we can just obliterate them nilly willy whenever we want to, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I will admit. Uh, second carrier strike group, join the sub fleet. Join the sub fleet, and let's make sure you are guys on ceasefire. 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 There we go, they've joined up, and then let's head towards the contacts again. This is pretty rudimentary now, we're basically just making quick work of the enemy's ships, and there's really nothing much else that we, we really need to do besides keep repeating this over and over and over and over again. Um, okay, are we ready? We're going to fire, um, Albany 003, we're going to assign that to Subfleet, and then Albany 002, assign that to Subfleet. Uh, we'll sign that. Oh, Those go to. We'll sign Zozo three down to the subfleet, and then we'll have Strike Gorgon three focus fire on the Ardent, assigned to subfleet. Then we're gonna do open fire fleet. Missiles are away, and then we're gonna begin to fire off our destroyer missiles after this point, which is gonna be the first time they're gonna be actually properly used here, um, which is fantastic for us. Um, so move to location. Missiles are in the route. And load of detonations. That's now another Albany dead. Uh, 37 penetrating hits on one of the acutes, apparently. Were we targeting an acute? I didn't realize. 37 total hits, 37. They seem to be stations then of some kind. Um, at least from what I can tell. Target destroyed on the uh, Albany. Um, a target destroyed in the Albany. Uh, arm hits on the Ardent still. Uh, we need to kill the other Albany and then we'll get through the others. It must be the Arats that provide the point defense capabilities then. Actually, no, it was probably the service to orbit weapons. If there was a stations, we penetrated through all of them. It must be. Okay, launch a, um, launch a Growler uh, immediately. Launch a Growler. Head towards contacts. I need to get more information on them. <laughs> That's way too close though. No, 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 I'm not. I am not risking that. We are coming back. We're landing on the side of the ship and we're going to do the exact same thing for these guys. I am not risking uh, that. At all. Uh, first strike squadron land on the signs. Land on the signs. And then once you've landed, we're going to head towards the enemy contacts with our cruisers and use our 20, 25 million resolution one sensors instead. Which are a lot safer for us in general. Um, but we can practically move in. We've already killed four of their vessels. And there's their three acute class vessels, as we can see there. So some kind of like commercial vessel with low ships so yeah that's commercial signature engines and you're going to pick up more of their sensors though uh, what kind of ground forces are we going to be detecting today ladies and gentlemen let's see another host hostile ship contact has been detected ground force signature 17,000 tons that's about the same as the last one um Okay, we're going to move there, um, and let's, uh, how many missiles do we have left for our fighters? I want to destroy the, 
I want... Oh my god, why are you not loading fleet ordnance? We spy in fleet, we fuel in fleet. There we go. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> do we have a strike squadron set ready? Yes, we do. Ceasefire fleet. Let's launch. 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 Join the first strike squadron. And then we're going to open the fire correctly into the enemy. Um, so first strike squadron. You are going to target the Albany. Uh, yeah, target the Albany, assign that to fleet. Second strike squadron, you're going to target the Ardent, assign that to fleet. Third strike squadron, uh, you guys are going to focus fire on the Al well, yeah, on the Albany. So Ardent, Ardent, oh yeah, you're doing the Ardent. Um, Let's just give one of the hits then to you, and then our dense was only three. We'll give to you, then we'll open fire everyone. Missiles are away. Looks like we've been running out of missiles though, unfortunately. So we have to use our Helios class missiles if we do want to go further than that. Uh, land on the side mothership. Land on the side mothership, and then land on the side mothership. Um. There we go, they've landed. Uh, I'm also going to halt the carrier group from moving further. Okay, missiles are away though. Okay, that is secondary magazine explosion on the Ardent, which is nice. It's a shrink. Well, that's quite a big hit there. Um, the acute class vessel took some damage. So it does not seem like their point defense is coming from. Um, it does not seem to be coming from ground forces because I can't see any surface orbit weapons. We would have likely have seen them by now, um, at least of some kind, of some description. Okay, how many missiles can we fire? We can fire 32, that's just not enough at the end of the day, I don't think so, at least from, from my understanding, uh, into destroyed escorts. Um, yeah, we can fire 32 missiles. Uh, but that's just, yeah, that's just not enough. Uh, we did destroy that Ardent class, which is nice. Um, we need to go after some of the others, though. So I'm going to have to start hitting the Acutes, I think, pretty heavily. Um, because that's the only other one I can think of. We also have the Albany class, which we do need to destroy. Um, so we're going to just sit here now. Um, oh, and there we go. We found the Surf Store, but contacts. So it has to be the service door bit weapons, so that's what we're going to focus fire on next. Uh, what is taking... why are we... Incrementing along so long. Oh, they're firing at us. I see. Uh, let's make sure all weapons are fine. Just make sure I see fire as well. Um, carrier, carrier group, I want to make sure all of our weapons are right. Passive, you're okay. Destroyer escorts are okay. Sorry, that's a fleet. Launch the interceptors and have them join the sub fleet to the main carrier group to provide support. Make sure they're also on uh, the interior bees are also correctly assigned, auto assigned and assigned to fleet. And prepare to face incoming missiles. Here we go. So they just fired a bunch of missiles towards us, I'm pretty damn sure. There we go. So. These are 31,000 thermal cell signature 9. These are pretty pathetic missiles, I'm not going to lie. So one of their vessels does have missiles. Maybe it's the Albany? Yeah, so these are size 6 uh, missiles here. Um, we have quite a nice tracking bonus on them as well, which uh, always works out pretty well for us. Um... Yeah, no problem at all. We can just eat all of those missiles. Very, very nice. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Okay. Um, now we're just going to wait around until we get... Uh, until I get uh, better... Get missiles loaded correctly. Uh, because we need the missiles actually loaded onto the strike uh, group, which is going to take some time. Um, supply vessel, load fleet ordnance. 
So that is going to take us a few days at least. Um, so we're just going to wait some uh, some days anyway. Oh god. What the hell happened? Life pods. Okay, so we got within range. By me oh my god, that was a mistake by me. We got within range, and then... They had AMMs? I see. Interesting. Well, we were able to deal with it just fine. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. It was like one of the other ones. You have to be so so careful. Um so that just give that just gives in uh information about the enemy. Um the Albany class has the missile launchers. The Arats have the size ones, which I know about. Um yeah, the rats have the size ones, which still are quite a few, so we're gonna have to uh destroy those. Um, otherwise, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Okay, have we uh, managed to get a reload? Looks like we have. So I'm going to launch uh, Strike Squadrons. But I'm not going to focus fire onto the... I'm not going to focus fire onto the enemy... Um, uh, which one? The enemy... Enemy... Oh my god, they fired. Oh no, those are the Guardian Amens, not bad. Um, I'm not going to focus fire on the enemy, uh, uh, what you call it, the ships. I'm going to kill the SDOs. Um, that's going to be the priority target here, uh, because the SDOs are actually a bigger threat right now to our ability to actually handle this. So we're going to assign that to fleet, and then we're going to open fire fleet onto the service orbit weapons. Uh, we're within plenty of range here, missiles are away. At least they should be. Um, no, those are the Guardian AMMs, my bad. Okay, normal missiles are away, but we are actually helping out here with the Guardian uh, anti-missile missiles. It's just that we don't really need to be doing that. Um, but, you know, it, it it's something that they can do that's extra, that is good for fleet defense to brace as much as possible. Um, so now we're going to land and continue. Okay, missiles should be on the way now. Does not take long at all for um for, for for missiles to arrive. Okay, there we go. A lot of hits. Quite a few, in fact. We killed nine PD service door weapons. So we destroy every last one of them. That'd be fantastic news if we did. Um, I think we did. Yeah, we have sixteen point seven percent chance to hit there. Um. Which is fantastic news. Um, there shouldn't be that many of them left anymore. I'm also soaking up all the uh, all the AMMs here. Um, really, not that scared whatsoever by the enemy. Um, okay, Tri Squadron, you are loading. Ceasefire Fleet. Uh, first Tri Squadron begins. Yeah, we need to reload the ammunition on these, which will take a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, we're able to actually do just fine uh, dealing with all the point defense here. Um, they'll fire as many size ones as they want, but they're not going to be able to do anything to us. Um, so, how is our strike squadrons doing? Yeah, we're not actually able to increment time properly because we're constantly taking barrage of fire. Looks like it's stopped. Okay, are we ready to fire once more? Yes, we are. Uh, launch first strike squadron, launch second strike squadron, uh, launch third, join first, join second. Okay. So first is going to continue to fire on to the service door weapons. Because there's still some left, apparently. The rest, you're going to focus fire on the Arat. Um, where's the second strike squadron? Join the first as subfleet. Okay. And then second, you guys are going to focus fire on to the other Arat. Uh, so, yeah, focus fire onto Arat 006. 
assign softly, and then open fire fleet. Always just one fighter that's that's <laughs> causing the issues. Um, okay, we're good. Uh, now let's cease fire, and uh, then detach, and then uh, land all of our uh, carry all of our strike squadrons back onto the carrier for reloading. And there we go. Missiles are in route. Nuclear detonations, which is fantastic news. No, uh, looks like one of the Albanese attempted to flee. Right about Albany. They're fleeing the planet. Interesting uh, tactic. We will chase them then. Um, the Albany class has mi uh, anti missile missiles. We can chase that with our Quebecs easily. Um, oh, my bad. Why is there a Quebec there? Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, launch one Quebec. Uh, and you are going to load your Marine Boarding Platoon, which should not take you very long at all. Also, we now have Thermal Signature, apparently, coming in. Um, no, yeah, they are attempting to flee there. Um... Yeah, a lot of hostile missile contacts coming in, thermal signatures. Boom, target destroyed, that's an rat down. We have three acute class vessels left of some description. Okay, fine. Um, we need to hold out and wait for this. How far away are we from the enemy? Uh, pretty damn far. No, not that far. We can chase those acutes, though. I will say that. Can't chase the acutes. Um, land on the sign with a ship. Uh, and then we're going to contact, we're going to chase those acute class vessels. There's no more STOs, so we can just go. Yeah, we are on top of them. Okay, let's uh, let's begin the boarding party time. It's time to capture myself some, uh, some alien vessels. Um... Launch, which is the one with the uh, transport items, you have it. Okay, cool. Uh, contacts, uh, begin boarding all formations, and I'm going to detach. 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 Um, I'm going to have you all begin to load up. Uh, yeah, load a, a marine boarding platoon. Uh, as, as, as easily as you can, please. Um... Yeah, load, load, load. Okay, a sec free penetrated hull. Combat is underway. Fantastic news. And I'll just take us some time, of course. There we go. So the crew is now on board. Uh, are we sure this is the correct crew? Or the correct uh, marines. I'm pretty sure these are not the correct marines. Uh, let me have a look. On ships. Uh, show ships. Lacerte. Okay, only the 27th and 21st are actually the elite marines. So, that's a problem. Uh, those are nine uh, fleets. Load me the 21st, please. Those were all going to take hours of combat. Yeah, it looks like we're going to lose all those marines then. Because they're not good enough to be able to actually handle the enemy. Well, it's not that they're not good enough, it's just there's not enough for them. Uh, so, we're just going to wait 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 5, 5. No, 5. Okay, now I'm going to... Uh, we're going to grab all of the Quebec class vessels. So Quebec, Quebec, and then Quebec. And then we're going to have them all go and land forces onto the enemy contact. Uh, so a Q, attempt boarding all formations. There we go. 
So 21st, 27th crew dead there. That's incredible. Um, yeah, they shot 120 times there and uh, just completely slaughtered them. Um, very little losses. We lost a single elite moon there, no elite moons. If we have a look at the... Yeah, we, we take hits, but we just don't lose units there, which is incredible. Uh, 28 crew members, we inflicted more casualties. And there we go. It's a fuel harvester. That's why they were there. It is a fuel harvester. The Kennesaw Mountain class fuel harvester. Interesting. I've never seen this before. So it has some CUS capability. Very cool. Okay. Um, we'll board the others then and we'll take them and then we can bring those back to the... Um, we can even use these, honestly. We could we could use them, send them over to Fibudis, and uh, that would be some cheap labor that we could use, uh, alien labor. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to leave the episode off there. It's getting a little bit long. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. Um, and thanks for your support. We're able to obviously keep the channel going. Um, and yeah, bye-bye, guys. And special thanks to members Alter Ego 1101, King Stroza, Lewis Neto, Impassive 9001, Grabmania, Petit Juanito, and Fishik. Thanks for your support. We're able to keep the channel going um, and keep it up. It really does mean a lot.